Hi, Jay with TDR, and today we hope to help you avoid making a $200 plus dollar mistake. How do you do that? Well, you have all good intentions, so you pull out your math flow sensor and you decide you're going to clean it. You buy yourself a can of this stuff, you use it as directed, and you think you've done a wonderful thing. Now, the bad news is not that this damages the airflow sensor. The bad news is that it damages the airflow sensor, but you can still put this in your car, no codes, and you think you are getting a great reading and things are good. Not so. You're going to have erratic readings that will affect your fueling. So how do we know that? Well, this is about the third one I have damaged before I realized what was going on. But there is a simple test we can do. Here's a good one. And we can measure the conductivity. I'm just going to put this clip right here in the middle to make it easier. And we're going to measure the resistance in ohms. From the middle one. And I am going to measure the last clip. And notice that I get about 1.8, 1.9. Now when I do the one next to it, I'm supposed to get about 1.1 ohms. So 1.8, 1.1 ohms. That's on the good one. All right. Now we're going to measure the one that is damaged. By the way, this was brand new. I got maybe a couple hundred miles in it. And uh, I was doing a blow through math. And of course, I got some oil in it from my turbo. So I decided to clean it. So, same thing. Put the clip in the middle. And we're going to measure resistance. Now the last one. I'm getting 1.9, a little bit higher. But that's not the bad part. The bad part is that when I measure the next one, notice I get nothing. Okay? So somehow, spraying this stuff on the delicate thin wires damages the conductivity between this pin and this pin. And that is why we hope we have to save you a couple hundred bucks. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy watching, and if you do, keep on doing it. Thanks, this is Jay with TDR.